Here's what we've been up to living in our 2005 Freightliner Sprinter van attempting to visit all 50 states. Anchorage, Alaska was the first official stop on our cross-country tour. We snuck in an oil change, did a lot of hiking, coffee shop exploration, and we actually spent a lot of our time there trying to avoid the rain. What are you doing? Reading. You comfy? Yeah. Are you gonna move? No. It was the perfect first stop in Alaska because we had everything we possibly could have needed. Gyms, showers, Wi-Fi. Then we drove to a town with a little more seclusion. Stay tuned to see all the cute tourist town of Seward has to offer. Hi, I'm Claire. This is my husband, Andy, and our dog, Henry. For the past five years, we have lived right outside of Portland, Oregon. When we got engaged in September of 2021, we started looking for a home to buy. Unfortunately, these are the prices we were looking at. The housing market combined with the increase in crime in the area, yes, that's my car window, made us start to think about what we really wanted to do with our future. So we decided instead of buying a home that we didn't love for more money than we were willing to spend, we would buy a van. We said goodbye to our jobs, the house we'd been renting, and 95% of the things we owned. And now we're on a mission to visit all 50 states in the next 12 months. Come along with us on our journey as we live as a newly married couple in our 2005 Freightliner Sprinter van. Good morning, woke up in my PJs, put on my slippers and ran outside because there were white beluga whales. I've never seen whales like that before. I couldn't really get any clips on camera though, but Andy's still trying to get some. So hopefully we get enough, we could put it in this video. It was very cool. It's also really cold out there though, and there's lots of people. And I am like literally like no bra, <laughs> just in my pajamas. These are just the kind of mornings that I can get excited about with van life because a lot of mornings are like very bland. Like you wake up in a parking lot, it's rainy, it's cold. You don't want to get out of your big cozy bed, but this is why we're doing it. Well, that sucked because right, like if we were outside, there was two of them that just came up and there you could see how white they were. Most nights that we were in Seward, we stayed in an off the beaten path campsite we found. It was 10 times cooler than any of the legitimate campsites in the area, and it was completely free. We literally had mountains and glaciers outside of our front door. It took some major steering skills to get the van over the bumps and ridges of the gravel pit, but it was worth it for these views. It was really lovely to just cook some meals in the van, play fetch with Henry and let him run, and wake up to the most amazing morning views I've ever experienced.
Seward was such a cute town. The population is around 3,000 people and most of the industry understandably seemed to be focused on tourism. There was a little harbor with lots of personal and commercial boats. There was also some huge cruise ships that would come in and dock for the day. I should have gotten a clip of that because it was pretty wild to see. Not to mention the nature experiences were out of this world. Seward Library has the coolest outside I've ever seen. It's like the coolest color. So pretty, it's like mermaid. We are gonna go on the coolest hike ever. We're gonna go up to see Exit Glacier. It's a two mile hike. So hopefully this one goes a little bit better than the other hikes that I've done in Alaska so far. I'm coming prepared this time. So I think I'll be better off. It's gorgeous weather, perfect Labor Day weekend. I haven't been able to shower in, I don't even know, I've lost track of how many days it's been since I showered. We haven't really had access to showers in Seward like we did in Anchorage, so. Um, like the ultimate grease ball right now. Hoping tonight we can find at least like some public, like outdoor showers or something. Cause I mean, we're starting to smell a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, coat has come off. So far, so good though. Pictures and videos just don't do this justice, as always. Glacier water! I bet it's really cold. Like most glaciers, Exit Glacier has been receding for a while, and unfortunately, it's not nearly as big as it was a couple hundred years ago. As you enter the park, there are little signs sprinkled along the road through the hiking path and up to the glacier. These signs each have a year on them, and the year represents where the glacier ended at that time. It really put into perspective how much the glacier has receded over time. I'm being lazy. Andy wants to drive a couple blocks to the library for their Wi-Fi, and I'm not ready to get out of bed, so I'm just staying here. Claire, what are you doing? Giving Henry a bath. Henry? <laughs> he is not enjoying that, hey? I've never seen him this cold. Cold, Henry? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. <laughs> this poor dog. He's never shook this bad before. Yeah, bye. Bear. We just saw a bear in our campsite. We won't be leaving our van tonight. Okay, what is this? Hike number four in Alaska? I think it's four. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a doozy. Four miles, we're heading toward a mountain, so I think this is gonna be a good workout. Okay, right here it says, do not attempt to hike this mountain if you are inexperienced or unprepared. And right here, people write down all of the black bear sightings that they see, which is kind of scary. I'm nervous now. You know, Andy, Andy's got the bear spray. Do a practice draw. Okay, you're quick. This hike is gnarly, but we're, we think we're halfway to the top. That direction right over there is Seward. So we think when we get to the top, we'll be able to see all of Seward, we're hoping. I think we're gonna go up that little trail to the top. Cheers. Sandwich tap.
So I think this is the end of the trail for us. We made it to the top. We could go a little bit higher up, but it would require crawling and I have Henry attached to me. And there also was a bear sighting up there and it kind of freaked us out. We like to think that we're rugged, but we are not on the same level of any other of the people that we've seen on this trail. It's really gorgeous views behind me. I hope the camera is doing it justice. And we're really tired. So we're gonna make the trek back down the mountain and call it a day. What are you doing over there, Claire? This is my life now. Sit, stay, okay. To your left, behind you. Right on top of that little mountain over there is where we were yesterday on our hike. After a quick load of laundry to clean up after our muddy and messy hike, an attempt at playing fetch with a directionally challenged dog and a coffee stop in a train car the next morning, it was time to head to the next Alaskan town. Up next, Homer, Alaska. If you enjoyed watching this video or any other videos on my channel, please consider giving it a like by clicking on the thumbs up button. If you want to follow along on our van adventures over the next year, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.